Nice. Okay. We're just gonna have to allow that to balance and not. <laughs> My leg in, it'll be fine. Wow, that was stressful. <laughs> that was stressful. Okay, we can't like shake the table too much because I'm worried it's gonna fall. Okay, we'll just not touch the table. I'm Olivia, I'm the Witch of Wonderlust, and I'm here with Frankie, Chaotic Witch Aunt. Hello. This is gonna be like a out and about video. I've never done out and about video. Really? Yeah. They're fun. I don't I do them often because, you know, I don't like getting out and about, but today we're gonna go to some thrift stores and just kind of see what we can find. Anything that we point out that we were like, oh yeah, we could use this for practicing. Yeah. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I want like a takeaway for this video is just to show that you can find things very easy at thrift stores or secondhand shops to use in your practice. Like you don't have to be going on Etsy and buying like really expensive things. Yep. The cat's committing property damage. Gato. Gato. Enough. Most of my things are from secondhand shops. And yeah. while you should support small businesses and small creators, sometimes we don't all have the means to do that. We're just going to go in and show examples of like what we might use something for if we were to pick up and buy something from these thrift stores. I love thrift stores. Me too. I'm gonna find some candlesticks. I love, okay, actually they, they I've found so many pillar candles. Really? Like, like full ass unburned pillar candles at, yes, I find a lot of them That's actually cool. at thrift stores. And I, I literally have like three pillar candles like this big mm -hmm. that are all like just this beautiful green and I use them for my money altar. I'm excited, we're gonna see what we can find. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> now we gotta get out of this bench area. You can do it, you can do it. Ah, got it. <laughs> oh God. Oh Saying he's in a face. So now you're telling everyone that we're drifting apart. Now I know that it was you who made me feel so messed up. Hanging out with new females, cute. But are they even real bad? Yeah, that is like that. <laughs> Not ideal. I would 100% use that. Yeah. Oh, that box though. That's a tarot card box. It's a tarot card box. It's a little small. I wouldn't be able to fit a lot of stuff in there, but that's okay. I like the design on it though. I do like the design. It looks a little fake in me. Is that off Oh, like a little mirror. That's pretty. Yeah, it's a little magic. Oh my god. Oh, that is an offering bowl. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at it. Another one. That is a big boy candle. Um, I found a time jar up here. Oh, that's really cute. That is really cute. Oh, whoa! Look. Oh yeah. That looks like a little. I don't think so. Type of urn. It does kind of look like an urn. Peppered citrus. Oh, see, look it. I'm telling you, these are big candles. Can and they're each two bought two dollars. I'm getting one very large white candle. Yeah, I think I might be getting one for my. Watch out. Yeah, look at this giraffe cat. Oh, moon water, and then you can just get a cork like really easily. That's pretty. This reminds me of Edie's a little bit. Because it looks like an urn with it like does. kind of some Gushen. Yeah. I was like, should I get a basket? <laughs> oh, I like the bells. Oh, these are cute. Look at these coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> I always am in that mood for more mugs. I get some. Oh yeah. Mugs. If you worship Dionysus, these are perfect. See, I like that you know about deities. Any type of. Um, I was imagery. looking at these. These are really beautiful. Yeah, we should each get one because I will buy this. Low key, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have matching mugs. <gasps> oh my goodness. These are perfect. Candle right there, and then we have some like fall decorative things. If you work with any <clears throat> gods, you can get them a giant chicken. Get them a giant chicken. <laughs> a joke, but also <laughs> it's not though. It's not. Are these all? Oh, are those peppers? Mm-hmm. 
plate as well. Ooh. I would put, I would do uh, candle workings in this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I need to get candle working things. Though. <laughs> That's a big thing. That's cute. For Apollo, give him coffee, a little mug. Oh, Apollo, okay. Oh, wait, just found a money thing. I did. Use that for a money altar or use this for money workings. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I found, I found jars. Oh, somebody used these as like shaving jars. That's really cute. That like really you can, cute. I don't know if it'll focus, there it is. Okay. Hi. We're back from the thrift store. Our adventure. Yes, but first tea. Yeah, no, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get the tea. You wanna see what we're drinking? Spring in Paris black tea by Kucha. I was gonna hold it up, but it's not gonna focus immediately. So I'm just gonna do that. We have our teapot. We have some oh, creamer. So we have some honey. Yeah. What did we, we spent all together. Yeah. Like both of, both us, of us combined. Um, $37. That's it. Which is not a lot for all the things that we got. Nope. Um, especially some of the little gems. I'm gonna show you my favorite one first. Is this box is my favorite. It's such a good it's box. It's so I'm gonna I thought it opened this way and it no. didn't. So you like pull this it's and it like it is a surprise and then it opens like this. And there's so many more boxes. And then there's tiny boxes. Yeah. That just makes me happy. Yeah. But and you can put jewelry in there. Mm -hmm. You can put crystals in there. I don't know what I'm gonna. I might put. I put. I might make this my jewelry box. I don't know. Cause yeah. I, don't, I don't have a jewelry box actually. I don't have a jewelry box. I have a lot of Anna Luisa's jewelry. That's the only reason I have a lot of jewelry. I have <laughs> straight up a cardboard box with jewelry in it. Yeah, mine is like a circle, like zip up thing, and I just kind of like put everything in there. I could, so I could put jewelry in this. Oh, that's true. This oh yeah, is yeah. One yeah. Of the so dishes let's go I got. Um, this was one twenty nine. For this. Oh, my box was six dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. Um, but I'm gonna clean it out. We have some Florida water, some uh, incense, and some rue cologne to cleanse these items with. Mm -hmm. um, this, I was just thinking, it'd be good as an offering plate or for candle workings, but yes. also like really great for jewelry. Honestly. Yeah. Well, so like, just because it's red, you could do like a power or yep, a love whatever sex Love spell whatever you we have want. some white ones too mm -hmm. yeah. hypothetically right maybe like use this i would fill it with water to like mm. to amplify the spell yeah and use then, water for amplify oh yeah i love using like water i'll amplify it out of things with some water that's what i'm saying is like you really don't need anything super fancy if you yeah. just like charge the water or if you like leave a bunch like some water on your ancestor altar like with deities and ask yeah. them to and then, then help yeah. out and then put that in there Damn. And then put like roses or something yeah. in there. Like that's a, that's a badass spell right there. I was thinking with the white candle. I'm gonna use an example. I'm gonna, I like this f***ed up white candle. I like it's a f***ed up white I candle. I like it. This one does has a little white candle. I'm a big protection spell person, so I'd probably do some salt, some rosemary. Mm. I'd anoint with certain protection single, or I draw porcupine quill, certain protection sigils, um, and then probably I would roll it in. A protection oil or root cologne? Oh, you use porcupine quills too. I do. I use stingray. Really? Yeah. Damn. But yeah, salt, um, rosemary. I keep my protection herbs relatively simple because I do most of the work with the sigils and like a little paper. Mm. So I'd burn the paper, put the ashes in, mm. burn the candles. Yeah. I'd like them too. I the question. So this what are like you a... planning on using yours for? Because I. What are, I think is that who's which one? I I thought I got this one because I was like that kind of fucked up, but I like it. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use these ones. I really like pillar candles for my ancestor altars or yeah. for like just my altars, like mm -hmm. not really for working. Uh, so I use taper candles for workings, but I already use pillar candles for long term protection, house protection. Um, I had a very specific spell that was given to me by Diana with a white candle and placing it in a certain place and doing certain things to it. So I'll probably, once my current candle runs out, I'll do it with this one because it'll last longer too. Um, yeah, I mean, I could use this for candle workings. I could also use this 
Oh, I, I like that one. I also, been, it's like raised oh, just a little bit. Yeah. I don't know what it is about, like just like the slight raise. It's just, it's that's good. I've been looking for a fireproof plate for so long, and I am so blessed. You'll just, I guess you'll just have to make sure that there's not like burning herbs that might drop through here. Yeah, I mean, but, I, I can keep it pretty. Yeah, there. yeah. But, but this is a good one. This is such a good one. It's so nice. It was literally like $3.99, $4 for a fireproof plate. That's pretty much sterling silver. But still like, and I have a lot of, I actually use these things that I got it, like for, I think I got them for like 75 cents and they're like yeah. platters and it's, there's my money altar is on it. Uh, I mm -hmm. love those things. Yeah. Well, I can give a nice little, we also got you a money altar. We got matching mugs. We got matching mugs. <laughs> yeah, these are real cute. They're by the Food Network. Oh, and they're dishwasher stronger. safe <gasps> and microwave safe. Nice. Yeah. So, not that you should ever be microwaving your tea. <laughs> My mom does that. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Karen. Rice mm -hmm. that came in a bag, and I was like, "What the f are you doing? Wait, what, what are do you, you doing? Rice? In a it's bag. in a plastic bag. He pulls it out of a box, and he put it's a plastic bag, and then he just." He puts it in a in a pot full of water on the stove. And I was like, what are you doing? And he said, I'm making rice. And I was like, where's your rice cooker? And he was like, I don't know, what's that? And I was like, oh, no. Oh, Frankie, please. Olivia, that's what most white people do. Are you make bad rice? Yeah. I can pull the rice out. We have it in a plastic bag. But no, he took the plastic bag, the uh -huh. whole thing, and put the whole thing in the and you like, and I was like, that's wrong. No, and you, that's wrong. And you look at the box and it tells you to do that. That's fucked. No, we pour it out. Yes. Out the plastic bag. And you still make rice on the stove top? Well, yeah, we don't have a rice cooker yet. Believe me, I want a rice cooker. Yeah. I'm gonna... All right, so that's gonna be a Yule present, I guess, because <laughs> I'm really upset that you don't have any rice cooker. Not rice cookers. <laughs> I've eaten rice out of a rice cooker before. I know what I'm missing. I know, but I'm just saying, like, that hurts me. I feel like we don't, my mom it feels like we don't make enough rice to get a rice cooker. I guess that's fair. I guess, because my household, the, yeah, you know those, like, really there. big plastic tubs that yeah. most people, like, use for storage? Yeah. We had rice in it. <laughs> so like <laughs> so that was like everything and then we would have like just like some random plastic cup from like fazolis or something and you would just scoop out like whatever how much rice you wanted and put it in the rice cooker and make rice like that was that was like every That's meal kind of sick though it was just a f ton of rice all the time oh except God. it was calrose rice which is my dad's favorite calrose? i like yeah i like jasmine it's jasmine like, yeah oh. jasmine rice is where it's at i'm a Jasmine and sometimes Desmati. Oh my God. No. Anyway, we got sidetracked. I've been thinking funny. about that for so long. Um, what else do we have? We got the candle. Yes. Oh yeah. You, you have a little heart yeah. Container. We have my heart container. So, um, my favorite. Okay, so my favorite kind of spells. Mm -hmm. First favorite kind of spell is protection magic. Yeah. I just I just really like it. That's me. My second. I think love and money magic are probably my two other favorites. Like who does money love magic? Ma yeah, I love money magic. I don't do a lot of it. Really? You have to teach me. Oh my god, maybe it's the Capricorn rising. I don't know what it is. I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart. Um, no, my, money magic is one of my favorites, and I think I'm gonna make a whole video on that because a lot of people are like, oh, greedy, and it's like, no, that's not what it is. That's not the same. I thing would at all. love to see a video on money magic from you because you know I'm an idiot. I, you're not an idiot. I think it'd be a great thing for love spells. And again, everybody's like, oh my God, you're casting love spells. Yeah, ho, I'm, I'm doing a lot of for myself. Um, that and also a lot of my friends really like having me cast love spells for them Yeah, as well. So like, you know, if I wanted to have one of my friends, uh, like I want them to like meet somebody new mm -hmm. or whatever, then I'll put an artifact of theirs or a name paper or whatever, mm -hmm. some attracting herbs, and then like anything that maybe they would write down like specifically of what they might want in somebody mm -hmm. and like put that in there and then kind of keep that. Stuff in the bottom. I also got a shell. I genuinely don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I mean, I feel like having the shell in the bathroom with my jewelry in it would be good. Yeah, because um, to me, shells always represent Venus or Aphrodite. fertility, yeah, love, fertility, and, love, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. And the water aspect of the shells helps me get more in touch with my intuition. Mm -hmm. um, plus, this is big enough that I can like pop it up like this and do earrings or bracelets. Yeah, and that's true. I also got bell. bell. It's cute. I really it's like this a bell. Very cute bell. I'm a slut for bells. Are you? I'm yeah. a bell slut. Oh, I have a lot of bells. We use them in, um, I use them in my practice pretty frequently. Oh, see, I actually don't. Um, 
I'm very excited. I think I you got a lot of candles. I did. I got a lot of plates. Plates. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? And what I think too is like you could use an oil and like draw a sigil in there before you put all your stuff That's on such a to good charge idea. it. You're more creative when it comes to this stuff than me. I think I've been practicing for longer though. So maybe. I don't know. Have you have six I? years? for me oh okay then i guess so yeah. but i love i that's one of my favorite things about the craft is like it's another way for me to be creative mm -hmm. you know i'm still getting in touch with it i think i'm still stuck with not a lot of the traditional rituals that i started with that are very wiccanized but mm. a lot um and i'm still working on breaking out of that especially with italian folk magic it's yeah. all about that creativity intuition etc it's like, using what you got all the yeah. all the folk practice is like all my fucking favorite whatever you have oh. that's what you can use and yeah. like you don't need a red candle to do a power spell you can do a white candle like yeah. people way back then didn't even have colors for candles it was just white it or, was white or black not even white, white or yellow like depending on what they were using what kind of wax yeah like what kind of wax um, yeah I got some cleansing stuff with us. God, that makes me so mad. She makes me so mad. Like you have no business. No business being that fine. Uh -huh. you are <laughs> existing in my life. Matches. Yeah. <laughs> I got some of my handcrafted incense from one of my mentors from Cat and Cauldron in Utah. It smells they like- They smell delightful i have to preface it by saying that cat and cauldron does not have an online store they were like we just like you so also have we don't florida water and my brew cologne which i use a lot in my practice <laughs> smells good but it's, it's a good time. like a <laughs> it's in mean, the back of the throat that's a that's a good cleansing yeah. oh my god i forgot that's what i have to do this month i make fire cider fire cider i've never had fire cider no Ooh. We should make fire cider. This, get it on. Yeah, wax holds a lot of energy. That's why you always want to cleanse your candles. Is because wax, and that's why candles are used in in So that's in new magic. to me. I've never cleansed my candles before. You what? Bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know if it's lit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do you smack it? Do you do. smack it? Yeah, I was smacking the, the sh out of my. I was smacking the sh out of my candles. Get get all of that sh out of there. <laughs> That's what I do. I do this with my glass candles too, um, or to like wake it up or activate yeah. it. But That's most really of the time, cool. I just like. Okay, I'm gonna smoke cleanse this one. Because rue cologne is so powerful, I only use a little bit. So what do you usually use rue cologne Roux for? Because I, I wear. am very unfamiliar with rue cologne. I wear it, usually. I use it to set intentions. I use it to get rid of spirits I don't like. It's very much used in Italian folk magic. Mm. Oh, speaking of, how is my, how are the guava leaves treating you? They Good. smell like shit. They do. My mom was like, yeah, what they the is that? Yeah. This is an old picture too. It turns out my ass has always been big. Actually, it's not that old. Damn. That'd be really funny if I, I just included that with no context. Um, yeah. So hopefully this helped. Like this kind of just showed that you can find uh, some really neat knickknacks for your practice pretty cheaply. Because uh, we got a lot of stuff for under 40. Yep. And you know, you can, these are all things other than the candles that you can use indefinitely. Yep. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with the purchases. I'm very happy. Uh, if you have anything that you want to share, definitely like share that on Instagram. And I use the hashtag Wonderlust Coven. Mm -hmm. So, and I follow it. So when you post things, I see it sometimes. So that'd be pretty cool. You can follow the hashtag. Mm -hmm. Is that on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was YouTube. Should I give my socials? Yeah, of course. Uh, my, <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on YouTube under Chaotic Witch Aunt. TikTok on Chaotic Witch Aunt, Instagram Chaotic Witch Aunt, Twitter Ant Chaotic. I have a book coming out this week. It's hardcover. <laughs> it's hardcover. It smells so good. Um, if you want to hear more about that, you can go into my link tree. I have the pre-order option available. It should be able to buy on October 14th. Uh, apart from that, I run a Patreon. 
uh, has a Discord. Everything that they said will be linked down below. And I'm on their channel too, so go over and check out their channel. I have one video on there with them. Yeah. And I'm sure there's gonna be more of being that, yeah, they live in Colorado. I uh, hope that you enjoyed, and as always, best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye. Bye. Bye.